The project is facing social media backlash after botching an interview with musician Louis Tomlinson, asking the former One Direction star a series of daft questions which made him look visibly uncomfortable. It started off friendly and tame, with Australian media personalities asking Louis the questions you need to know. Have you seen the weather in the UK? <laughs> it might not be much better right now. Yeah, man, yeah, 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 it's crazy, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, cool stuff. Great work, Waleed. <laughs> now, keep in mind, Waleed is a gold Logies winner. The best of the best on Aussie television. And he's asking one of the world's most famous performers about a warm British summer. I absolutely love it. Please never cancel the project. But soon it took a dark turn. Hey, uh, Louis, there's been, there's been a bit of uh, 1D beef recently, thanks to, thanks to Liam, who's been speaking out about the band a little bit. When you look back on your experience with the band, how do you feel about those, those days? Oh, so the fishing's begun already. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I see what you're doing. No, listen, I'm, 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 I'm immensely proud, as I know, as I know Liam is. Um, I'm immensely proud of those days, obviously. I mean, you know, it was an incredible thing to do, and especially at such a young age. Good on you, Peter Hellier. Grill this 30-year-old musician harder than you have ever grilled a Labor politician in your entire pathetic career. And, of course, Louis shrugged off these stupid questions and gave a nice answer. But it wasn't enough for these fame-hungry TV hosts who just needed to create a news headline. Louis, when you say, oh, the fishing's begun, I imagine it is so annoying having to answer retrospective questions like that. I'm genuinely interested. How much do you want to talk about that time in your life to the media versus how much you never want to have to talk about it ever again? No, good, good, good question. I mean, I'm, I'm more than happy to talk about it in every interview. You know, I'm, I'm, that's something I'm immensely proud of, as I'd already said. Um, it's just when you mentioned the beef before, it sounded like you were getting ready to stir some Oh, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not no, a stirrer, please. Louis. Do I look like a <laughs> stirrer? <laughs> look at that face. This poor bloke having to endure these people <laughs> who bring absolutely zero intellectual substance to a conversation. Unfortunately, and kind of unbelievably, it actually got worse. These guys definitely aren't stirrers, Louis, uh, but I am, and I've, uh, I've spotted something overnight that I imagine will go. make you incensed. Uh, it turns cool. out that a Texas university announced overnight that it's launching a new course on Harry Styles called Harry Styles and the Cult of Celebrity. <laughs> That should be you, shouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't really have any interest in uh, having a course made about me, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a very strange thing not to be interested in. <laughs> you sound very interested, to be fair. Maybe you should sign up. I don't know if this is the worst interview I've ever watched or the greatest, but let this serve as a lesson for wannabe famous journalists in this situation. Just have a conversation with the bloke. His story is quite fascinating and not everything needs to trigger a headline. Well, joining me now to cut through the big news stories of the week is managing director of Adoni Media, Lisa Goddard, and author Kel Richards. Kel, um, what do you make of the way that the project has had this superstar in front of them and then they just have to go to these petty boy band feuds rather than asking about his, his life and his story? You need to be aware of the fact that there's a reason why singers sing. It's because when they talk, they don't make a lot of sense. You need, you need to be sort of generous. Now, I've interviewed a lot of singers over the years, uh, all of them a lot older than that young bloke, uh, and, and you need to talk to them about their interests, the stuff that... I remember talking to B.J. Thomas once, and once you got into his background and his history and what, he, how, what his life was like, he was actually much more interesting. You can't, you can't ask the silly fan questions. It, look, it was like a fan club session. You know, we're all here giggling around the table because we're all fans of this exciting person. You don't... That's not interviewing. That is not what journalists do. Journalists are meant to actually ask interesting questions and have done their homework enough so they can get into the background of someone who's got a story to tell. So I'm sorry, it was a fan club meeting, not an interview. And, and Lisa, I mean, Kel makes a really good point. Um, you know, you, you can do it journalistically or you can do it from a fan point of view. The, the bloke has 36 million followers on Twitter. He, he's got all these more elements to who he is than, than just maybe what a band member has said in a feud. It, it, to me, it just seems petty and silly to focus in on the, on the feuds. 
Yeah, Jack, and Kel's right. I, when I was in America, we would go and do what were called junkets and you would be ushered through room after room to interview movie stars or musicians. And you had to go in there with your A-game. You had to ask some serious questions or they would just want to dismiss you and you wouldn't go, get walk away with an interview that anyone would really be interested in. So the questions that should have been asked were about the record. What is the inspiration for it? What can the fans expect? Because that's what the fans want to know, what's coming next. Now, I have to admit I had to question who he was when my daughter went to that first show in Brisbane this week <laughs> and once she said One Direction, I got it. So, you know, I'm a little bit older. But that's what she was interested in. And if you look at the social media comments, that's what the fans are saying. And they're up in arms that they weren't getting those answers from this interview. And one of the comments I thought was spot on. Perhaps everyone on that panel should work for TMZ. Yeah, it's a very, very good point. There were a lot of great questions and, and obviously uh, the fans were a little bit outraged at that. They just expected to have a, a nice, normal conversation and they didn't get it.